Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I Am. Thank you all for coming and seeing me today. I've got a little special project I'm going to do. I don't need the number generator today to get my colors. I have a project in mind that I'd like to do. As you can see, it requires all greens because we're doing leaves. So, only makes sense we do greens. I'm also going to do a little Mr. Froggy here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bowl using these leaves and this frog. A bowl, you say? Yes. You're just going to have to go along with me to see what happens because theoretically it should work. I'm going to try it. We will see what happens. Okay, so I have first, I'm not using the stalks of the leaves. What I did is I took this. It's um, silicone earplugs. You see it comes in a little wrapper. And it's got two, uh, I think 12 come in here. I wish I hadn't have thrown the cover away. But they're Max earplugs. And um, I think I got them at Walmart. You really can get them anywhere, but they're silicone. So I stuck some silicone here at the beginning of the stalk or stem. So it will block the resin from going down and then I can just easily take it out when we're all finished. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and pour the different greens throughout. Make them beautiful. And then I will put them on the resin curing plate to get them cured. So then we can do the next step, which is the bowl. All right, first things first, let's get going with these. No rhyme or reason to it, I'm just gonna do it. And I really hope I have enough to do it. But you know what, I can always make more. So I know I used it. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm -mm. That color was mint green from eye candy. This color is emerald green from eye candy. Yeah, I think it'll look good with all these different greens in it. So, you know, it's been a while since I did a video with you guys. I don't know why, I just kind of got out of the groove. I don't know, I just feel like I'm working hard but not getting very far with the videos. So, I'm just going to keep trying. All of you guys can continue helping me by, if you haven't subscribed, then subscribe and like my videos. And if you like them. And share. Share my videos with your friends. Or your, your peeps. sugar pops look y'all my power just went out they said it was going to be going out they just didn't tell us when so my dogs are getting ready to cry because they don't know what's going on i'll be back all right guys i'm back okay i'm back to a different section we're at a different uh, angle or a different area i should say at a different angle this is uh the mold it is 18 inches and I have put plastic in it. 
Why do you say? Because this is a huge mold and this plastic seems to make me use a little less resin than need be because it's big enough. You know, I'm making a bowl. It's not like I need to make a tray so I don't need it real thick. And when I've used the plastic and the, this mold, it turns out well, it really does. So that's why I'm doing it. And I like the, to be able to do the free form thing with it rather than having to wait for it to congeal up completely to take it out of the uh, silicone mold. I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I have uh, my friend, my friend the frog. He's over on the resin curing plate. I finished filling him up. He's getting his heart on by... I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. He's getting cured in the resin curing plate. So while he's doing that, we are gonna come over here and work on his pond, his bowl, his pond. Okay, remember these? Our leaves, yep. I'm gonna demold them. They came out really nice, I like the color. This is where the silicone was at the end. A little bit on there. Get that off and you're good to go throw that away your leaf is good actually you can keep the silicone okay one I had enough after I left you to do this little one so I did him I thought he went very well with the other ones I can get it out of the mold I like the colors. I think the colors of the leaves turned out really well. This has something stuck on there. Real, let me get that. Oh goodness. Uh, I can't get this out. There's something in there. I gotta go get something. To get that out. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm not at my desk, I'm at the table behind my desk, so I have to go collect all my special tools. All right, see the colors of the leaves though? Then they turn out nice with those color greens. Okay, that's those. We got this skinny little one. That one came out real good. Again, silicone left over. I'm gonna put that there. And then we got this nice big one. Am I holding it over here? Well, no, I'm so bad about holding it in front of the video camera or the phone. I'm sorry, I suck. Okay. I love how these turned out. I love it. Okay, so now my game plan, y'all, is I'm going to put these leaves throughout this bowl. And then I'm going to pour clear. I'm gonna, I was thinking I'd put a little bit of the glitters that I put into the frog in here. Because I need something, a little something. And then I had made this green. I was going to kind of do just some faint, see that? Some faint lines, like connecting the leaves. What do y'all think? My nose is running, y'all. I'm sorry. I definitely think it's an allergy to the resin. Because I'm fine until I come out here and start mixing resin. So, I started wearing goggles. I might have to start wearing the mask. I know people tell you to do it, and you're like, oh, I'm fine. I'm not going to do it. And I might not even do it. And I suggest other people do it. Do it. Don't do what I do. This is my body, my life. This is my choice. So you do what's good for you. I'm just telling you what's going on with me. Okay. So I am... I'm just going to pour the resin. Then I'll lay these down. Let's do that. All right, this is 30, well, it was 30 ounces until I did the froggy and that green. So this is probably about 27 ounces. And I leveled this all off to make sure it was level. I've been letting it sit for about 20 minutes so it could thicken up some. You know, we just like resin after it's a little work. It's a little easier to work with once it's been sitting for a while. All 
All right. And just move it out to the sides. Make sure everything's covered. It will eventually get there on its own because the resin is self-leveling. However, you know, who the heck is not always in a hurry in this day and age? So you just help it along. Although with resin, you really can't be in much of a hurry, can you? I mean, you got the resin curing plate, but something like this you can't put on the resin curing plate. All right, so I've got that covered very well. And I know that it is level because I leveled it up before I started my pour. Now I am going to put my leaves down. Hold that thought, one second. I think the frog might be ready. I'm gonna check. No. He's not yet, not ready yet. Okay. So, now what we need to do is put our, I've been looking so forward to this and I hope it turns out. All right, so this side out, will be the inside of the bowl. So this side that we're looking at is gonna be the inside of the bowl. So I'm gonna put this leaf here. This leaf here. This one here. And where's the other one? This one here. Okay, so they gotta do their thing. They'll, they'll mesh in there nicely. And I'm trying to keep it though where, I'm gonna move those closer to the top. Because I need to be able to, to lay this over the vase or the bowl or whatever I'm gonna put it over. I need to have a flat bottom. Flat bottom girls. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to leave these here, and I need to get rid of some of these bubbles. But I have to be very careful with the plastic, y'all, because you don't want to melt the plastic. Quickly and efficiently with your torch, guys. I can't stress that enough. Otherwise, you're gonna melt your stuff. All right. I got it. Whew. Smoking. Still smoking. Whew. Okay. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, I think, oh, I hope I'm not messing up by putting some of this green in there. It's warm enough. So what I was going to kind of do was like, just do variations in it you know like this can you see me doing this because I don't want the green to take over I like it. Something different in here.
Do you like it, guys? My back is killing me bending over like this. Oh, oh. I was hoping that the froggy would get ready during our session right here, but it looks like he won't be ready till it's time to flip our bowl. What do y'all think? I don't think I'm going to add any more than that because I want it to be clear, really, with just the leaves and a little bit of veining going through there. And then a little bit right there. Yeah, that's it. That's all I want. Okay. So, I will be back in about 40 hours. It is 8.15, so that'll be 9.15, 10.15, 11.15 .15 after the evening news. So, that's when I'll be back. Hang tight, guys. I gotta reach in front of you to hit the button. Okay, guys, I did not video me actually flipping this. So, what I did is I picked up the, the plastic with the resin. I picked it up and I flipped it upside down on this bowl, which I'll show you once I unveil it. As you can see, I have formed it around this bowl with the leaves looking beautiful. And I think the green looks good going throughout it as well. We shall see. We'll be back in the morning. All right, guys. See you soon. Hey everybody, good morning. I'm back. I have our cured bowl. Now you guys didn't get to see me put it on the bowl. I showed you after. So let me show you. This is the bowl that I put it on. I put it on the bottom of it. Just flipped it over. And then I flipped the bowl on top of it. And then this is what we got. So what I had to do was put a piece of plastic on top of this one to keep the bowl from sticking to it. The, the other plastic is on the outside. See, I stuck it like that. All right, let's get that out of the way. I think you guys got that down pat. Okay, so now, this is a funky shape, but my funky shape bowls are really, really liked. I, I like it. I'm glad. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. This doesn't look very good right there. I mean, it looks okay. This is... The leaves in there. All right. Wow. What do y'all think? The leaves look great. These are still a little soft right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you see how this flashing goes around? So I will take my little, well, some of it will peel right off. What I'll do is I'll go all the way around, take this off. And then I'll go in with some scissors for the spots that I can't break. But, what do you think? I think it's great. We have one less, one other thing to do. Add our frog. How cute did he turn out? I think he's a good darling. Precious. Precious. So now what I want to do, is I want to take the black marker and put in his eyes. Now I gotta hold this towards me. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, but very even. Let me move this back over here a little bit. Sorry, I know y'all can't see very good. There we go. Mm. 
I'll make this a little more round. Man. Okay. There's his eyes. You see him? Is he cute? Alright, so now I'm going to find, I think this might be the best one for him to enter because that one's the one that's most jacked up, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to put him there by means of, oh man, this turned out cool. Yeah, when I take these, this flashing on the outside, which I'll show you once I do it, it's going to look really good. I like the funkiness of it. It's abstract. Look at this. Look how these leaves did. They're in there. Oh, that's the second time I dropped the froggy. Can you see this? Look. See how this, the resin dripped through those? Looks like little icicles. Can you see that? I think it looks pretty cool. So that's what we got. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you did, maybe you give me a thumbs up, liking it, and maybe you'll consider subscribing. If everybody that watches my videos would subscribe, I would be doing really well with my channel and other people would be seeing my videos. So if you would help me out just a little bit and I would be so forever grateful. And if you look in the description, I have information about a giveaway that I'm doing. All the details are down in the description. And I'm also doing a honorary color in your name. Again, all the details are down in the description. That'll enter your chances to win a contest. Just try it out. Lots of giveaways. Just read the details down in the description. You'll love it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is grab my... I'm just out of breath this morning. I'm going to put our little froggy there. And I'm going to take my UV resin and my little torch. I have to go through four times to get to the UV, a little pain in the butt. But I'll put that there. It's already lit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to see where this froggy, it looks like his little hiney is what needs to be resin. I don't see any other part of him touching. So, this is where we're going. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I got to go under to cure this. And it works because it's clear. And I put some up around his feet. You know what? I should, this foot is connected. Let me go ahead and put some more on there. And you want to make sure you leave this on here long enough to clear, cure. If not, then you'll have sticky um, resin, UV resin that hasn't dried. And that wouldn't be very nice on your bowl. I think he's adorable on the bowl, don't you? I've been thinking about the, doing this bowl for a while. It came to me in a dream. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, look, his paws or his little feet, they connect right there. So, making sure I got all this cured. Underneath. Well, 
really can't feel in there. So just to be safe, I'm gonna put that under there for a minute. Oh, you know what? I need to move it so I can glue these little feet down. UV resin is the bomb, especially when you have a little project like this to add to your resin piece. So you don't have to wait for eight, 10 hours. All right, last spot. All right, I think that's good, guys. There's our little frog connected to our leaf bowl. I wish I had the lotus coasters because I could have made lotus. It really would have looked like a a pond, a frog pond. I can't speak. It's too early this morning. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. I was so excited to come out and check this bowl out. And he just got up. All right, so look guys. There's our cute little frog. Connected to our cool bowl. So again, let me know what you think. Did I do a good job? You think? All right. Check out the pictures to see the final result. I appreciate you being here with me. I love you. mean it. See you next time. Bye.